Hello, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to the Gritch Tunnel in Zagreb, Croatia. The Gritch Tunnel is a pedestrian tunnel located in Upper Town Zagreb under the historic neighborhood of Gritch, which gave the tunnel its name. The tunnel was built during World War II by the ultra-nationalist Ustasha government to serve both as a bomb shelter and a promenade. It was renovated in 1947, and it was used as a warehouse by a food production company in 1949. After the war, it quickly fell into disrepair and was used by the homeless and drug addicts. The tunnel found a different use in the 1990s, hosting one of the first raves in Croatia and functioning as a shelter during the Croatian War of Independence. In 2016, the tunnel was remodeled and opened to the public, serving as a tourist attraction and hosting cultural events. Planned expansions include a museum and an elevator. Before we hear more about the Gritch Tunnel, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Adventures Croatia, for sponsoring this video and all of my Croatia videos as I travel around Croatia with them. Adventures Croatia is the leading tour operator specializing in travel to Croatia and surrounding countries. They cater to American tourists and are rated 5 stars on both TripAdvisor and Trustpilot. You can go to their website, AdventuresCroatia.com, for more information. There's a link to the website in the video description. If you mention my promo code, Andy's Awesome 10 when speaking with Adventures Croatia, you'll get 10% off any trip you book with them. The tunnel has six exits. The tunnel's floor surface encompasses about 24,000 square feet or 2,200 square meters. Here's some more history about the construction of the tunnel. In 1943, due to fear of Allied bombing, the Prime Minister of the Independent State of Croatia ordered the creation of a public bomb shelter under the hill of Upper Town. I have no idea where this ends, but I'm going to find out in a few minutes. The plan was to construct the tunnel in 90 working days, but the cost rose and the project was delayed until 1944. The project soon came under criticism. Despite this, construction continued, but some parts of the project were scrapped. The tunnel was built mostly using locally sourced materials, including gravel from the Zagreb area and wood from Bosnia. Near the end of one of the tunnels. I think I know where this is. This is a street with a lot of shops and restaurants, I believe. Although I had no idea where I was going, I eventually found my way out on a street I recognized from the night before. Yep, I was here yesterday. Looks familiar. 